And the reason why um, a lot of you ladies out there are going through what you're going through is because these men were not willing to sacrifice who they wanted to be to be who you needed them to be for you. Because, see, the thing about it is, uh, for a lot of them, they know they can just have, like I said, have babies uh, by you, and then they can run off with the next chick. I said chick, okay. <laughs> and um, leave you there, and now you have an added on responsibility, whereas um, before he came to you and love bombed you and lied to you like he was crazy, um, you could have just went on and lived your life solo. That's why you have to look out for yourself as a woman. You have to look out for yourself, young lady. You have to look out for yourself, more mature lady. You have to look out for yourself, young man. You have to look out for yourself, more mature man. I, I never thought that this world would be the way that it is. And I know that a lot of people out there, you know, I mean, what people do is their business. So I don't want anybody to get offended by my conferences when I speak what I feel about something. They don't have to feel that way. But the way some people talk to their children, and I understand they will work your nerve and they will bring it out in you. So I'm not judging nobody. I'm not pointing the finger. But I'm just saying, I, I, I'll put it like this, because I'm not going to put my mouth in that, because some children will bring it out in you. But I will say this, um, what came to mind, a lot of that is just uh, it's frustration. Uh, excuse me, you guys, one second. Okay. A lot of that is frustration. Frustration. Tired of telling that child the same thing over and over and over and over again, and they're not listening. And then you don't have, for you ladies out there, you don't have the father there to enforce what you say. That's why the family unit is so important. But with the type of world we live in now, a lot of people, you, you, you are unmarried parents out there. And I, I feel like that, uh, term single parent that to me that sounds uh, like a stereo stereotype now to me oh single mom single dad single parent See, it almost sounds like a pity me type title like oh I'm a single this pity me and I and listen you guys don't interpret me the wrong way I'm not saying just because somebody's a single mother or a single father that they are saying pity me. I'm just saying the way that term is slung around, it's almost like, it, 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 it's like a, the way it's used. You know, like, oh, feel sorry for me because I'm a single this or single that. No, 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 no. It just means you're not married. You don't have your part, that partner there. I was gonna say your partner there, but I guess they're not your partner if they're not there. You guys, I wish I could tell you a specific answer to the problem. Other than Jesus, I don't know what to say. Because relationships can be hard and relationships can be difficult. And uh, ladies, let's just face it. And I'm not male bashing or anything, but when a man a lot of men out here have the mentality when they get you pregnant they've got you on lockdown now they can go out and cheat with whoever they want to cheat with and even if you find out about it they feel like maybe you're not going to leave them because you got a baby by them i i would think that's the mentality i hey don't quote me i don't know i'm not a man i don't know but i do know that a lot of men will try to use um getting a woman pregnant as a way to keep himself attached to her so and he can still go out and do what he wants to do because he knows well she's financially dependent on him she's emotionally dependent on him she needs him she needs a roof over her head the baby needs somewhere to stay i'm just throwing that out there i don't know you guys I'm, I, I really don't even know what's going on in people's lives out there like that but other than what i maybe see on the internet but i'm just throwing that out there for somebody that may you know may be in that situation don't let don't let somebody put you in a situation that you cannot afford if you can help it 
I just say anything might happen once or twice. But I say after about that second or third time, mm -mm, you got to take control over your own life and over your own body. And then a lot of you may be in a situation where um, you, can, you can't even do that. So I'm not judging anybody out there. Because a lot of you may um, have married men that don't believe in birth control. There are, there are actually people out there that don't believe in birth control. I think they think it's murder. Well, they need to go um, study biology a, a lot. I was going to say a little bit, a lot. It takes two to make a baby, you know, and birth control does not kill a baby. But there are people that don't believe in birth control. And next thing you know, they got so many kids, they probably can't even hardly afford to take care of them. And a lot of that, um, I feel, stems from uh, people's uh, weird religious beliefs that the Bible don't even back up. It's just they get in these churches or get in these occults or whatever, get in these so-called religious groups, and they got one leader, and he's got mind control over everybody in the church and telling people this, that, and the third. And this thing you know, you got a bunch of children you got to take care of, but the person who told you not to use birth control, he ain't got to take care of it, or she ain't, whoever, whatever your respective cases may be out there. You got to have a mind of your own. As a man, as a woman, regardless of your age group, you have to have a mind of your own. At some point, you have to take control over your own life. Manage the sexual affairs of your own life. I'm telling you, you got to look out for yourself. And then there may be a lot of you... Uh, Ladies out there, you feel like you could have gone further in life if you didn't have three, four, and five, and six children. And maybe there were things that you could have done if you did not have that added responsibility. And I think a lot of you out there, you're probably suffering in silence because you feel like if you say something, it will make other people feel like you don't love your children, you know. But I don't feel like that you're not loving your children. I just feel like you are reconsidering the decisions that you made to have your children at the age you were at at the time but I, what I want you to know is that there is nothing that you can do there's nothing that I'll put it like this whatever it was that you could do before you had your baby or your children out there you can still do it a lot of you may say no because you can't move around like you would have been able to move around. You don't have the finances because now most of your money is going into buying your children's clothes and food. And that's money you could have used to invest in your career or whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to travel out of state and become a dancer or become an actress or an actor or whatever. Same thing for you fellas. But let me tell you something. If God be for you, even your own... Um... I would say maybe your own, I don't want to call it mistakes. I don't like to use that word mistake. Um, even your own decisions cannot work against you. If God be for you, even your own decisions cannot work against you. Because your decisions based off of your own intellect is trying to change the course of God's will for your life. But the Bible tells me, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And if heaven has proclaimed success for your life, then the earth has to fall into agreement. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I didn't know I was going this way. So meaning, whatever God says, I'm here to let the church say amen. Say so. If God says success, I don't care if you got 50 children. Success, say so. Because there's nothing wrong with having children. There's nothing wrong with having children. Even if you are a single mother out there, if you have two, three, four, five children, there's nothing wrong with you having children. The problem comes in when your finances do not enable you to take care of your children by yourself. And that is what causes certain people in, a, in a, a, a society that can be judgmental, not everybody, to point the finger at you and say, well, why did you put that on yourself knowing that you don't have the finances to take care of yourself and your children? That's where things can get a little